don't seem to mind the rain today, Imagination Station is going to be here with us with another interesting experiment. And Sarah Neff, what's going on with all this styrofoam that you brought in today? Well, I'm not moving, unfortunately. I'm sticking around we here. We like to have you around here, <laughs> good, though, okay? Good. Um, so what I thought we'd do is we would talk about styrofoam today, right? Earth Day is coming up, so it's a perfect time to talk about recycling. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put our safety gear on first, though, because we're going to do some pretty cool stuff. All right, so I have got some styrofoam cups here, and um, what I want you to do is pour this liquid into our top cup for me. Do we know what this liquid is yet, or are you not willing to reveal? We do know what that liquid is. It's actually acetone. Okay. Okay, so acetone is very important because it can actually dissolve styrofoam. Ooh. You know, look at that. So styrofoam is actually a brand name, kind of like Kleenex. So all of our products up here are actually made of polystyrene. Okay, so that's like the technical term for it. And uh, you can see how quickly our cup dissolved. And if we take a look in the bottom here, we use your fork and look at all this sludge mm. that's kind of left. This is the polystyrene um, because our cup that we started with is actually 98% air. 2% polystyrene. Now, all kinds of things are made out of polystyrene, right? And it's very versatile. So this cup is also made out of polystyrene, but it has five times more mass. Different structure, you could tell. Yeah, so let's put some acetone into our clear cup and see what happens, okay? So we'll put some in there. And you can see that one gets like really frosty. Okay. And uh, that's because it's starting to attack the polystyrene. But it can't do it as easily, correct? Right, right, it's a lot um, more, has more mass to it, so it's gonna take a lot longer, right? But if we leave it in there long enough, and like I said... We'd get a hole in that cup then, We right? would, definitely. Okay. And like I said, all kinds of things are made out of polystyrene. Things like CD cases, disposable razors, plate spoons. But it just depends on how it's um, produced. It looks different and stuff, right? Now, what I'm going to show you is a lot of people think that polystyrene is not recyclable. And that's actually not true. can be recycled, just not as easily as things like glass or um, plastic. Okay. It's because it takes up so much room, right? It's very, very big and bulky, but that makes it a great insulator. It's great for packing things. Mm -hmm. But then when you have it, what are you going to do with it? Right. Right? So um, you can, there's actually a chemical process, and I'm going to give you the styrofoam. You go ahead and start putting that in our beaker. And this is kind of similar to the process that companies might use to dissolve it. Oh, wow. Right. So we're taking out all of the air by dissolving it. And like I said, that was 98% air. So we're actually taking up way less space by taking it through this process to get rid of it, which is pretty cool, right? And this, by comparison, yeah. has gotten quite a bit and smaller. There's actually one place right here near Toledo, um, the Bedford Bus Garage in Temperance. They will actually take your styrofoam and they will break it down and recycle it for you. Really? Yeah. Because this was always, the, I mean, doing magazines and paper and cans and bottles right. is always easy, but this isn't as easy to do, right. at you least can in put, my mind like, it wasn't. Two things in your recycle bin and it's full already, right? right? So um, this is very, very cool, but it's also a little bit dangerous, right? We've got some fumes in here, so we're not gonna stay on this too long. Okay. But I would like you to grab that head over there. Now this is my friend, Carol. And I like to bring Carol along because she is perfect for what I call teachable moments. I'm glad you brought Carol instead of my <laughs> head. Okay. Now as you can see, Carol is not wearing her safety glasses properly, right? She has them propped up on her head. They're not gonna do her much good up there. Now this is an excellent um, thing to do with students. And I'm gonna give you that one. Um, because once you show them what could potentially happen in the lab, they're never mm -hmm. going to make the mistake of forgetting to wear their goggles again. So let's say Carol doesn't have her glasses on and some mystery chemical splashes onto her, all right? So, like I said, this is a teachable moment. As soon as you show this to students, they are not going to forget to wear their safety glasses. I don't think so. Right, so this is very, very dangerous. Yes. So we always stress safety at Imagination Station. Right, and this is a great thing to do in the classroom. It's pretty cool, but there's also a lesson to be learned Very here. Very visual, exactly. And that's the cool thing. You guys are always teaching us about science, but we're doing it in a safe and fun and exciting way. Right. What do you guys have going on at the Imagination Station? Actually, this weekend kicks off Green Science, which is all about reducing, reusing, and repurposing things around your home. All right, so, a lot of that you said focuses like around Earth Day, too, which yeah. is going to be coming up later this month. All right, Sarah, thank you so much thank for coming you. in, sharing a little fun and exciting science with us. All right. While the Imagination Station may be entertaining, so is something.